Hi, I'm Jazz Bianchi, and this is Mambo NYC. Today we're with Magna interviewing. Hi, Magna. Hi. So you started dancing salsa in 1999, is that correct? Yes. In Canada? In Canada. What motivated you to start dancing? Well, I actually saw the movie um, Dance With Me with mm -hmm. Vanessa Williams and Cheyenne. Ooh. Yeah. Nice. Good movie at the time. <laughs> right. <laughs> and I was inspired because they had a lot of salsa dance scenes in right. there. And um, in Toronto, they had some instructors in the local area. So I got into a package of lessons. Right. And after the third lesson, I started helping him teach his beginner classes. And that was it. The rest is history. I was hooked. <laughs> so did you go out to a lot of clubs to perfect your skill? or? That's basically the only way I've learned how to dance is by social dancing. Because after that um, initial set of lessons, right. I never took classes after that. Um, I went to the local clubs. They had some place to go every single night of the week. And um, they had great dancers. So I just made it a point to ask all the best dancers to dance. And that's how I improved. Yes, because we were talking earlier before the interview started and how Toronto is much smaller than New York City. And that when there's one venue, everyone goes to that venue for the night. There's not like right. three or four venues. So... You got to dance with the same dancers over and over and over. Pretty much, right. And work your way up. You said that you had a um, a plan, more or less. Oh. Um, Tell us about that. It was a plan initially. Right. Uh, because my goal when I first started dancing was to be able to dance with everybody. So I would always um, focus on following. Okay. I always asked the advanced dancers to dance. They rejected me sometimes. Or if I wore a pretty dress, then they'd say yes. <laughs> um, but my main focus was following. So mm -hmm. after I got into following, then I got into spins, because that's also part of leading and following. Right. And once I got comfortable with that, then I moved on to um, footwork, body movement, and now I dance with my emotions and just who I am and combine everything together. Now, I know people, myself included, <laughs> who've been working on their spins. You know, that's like what you do. You spin. So since you weren't in class, how would how would you perfect your spin and how would you adjust your body? Like how did you know what you were doing incorrectly? Um, for me, I'm very analytical, just as an individual and everything in my life. So if there's something that I don't understand, I try and figure out why it's happening the way it is. So with spins, um, when I first started, I couldn't even do a right turn without right. losing my balance. Right. Then eventually I figured out where my balance was and started pushing myself. So every time I had an opportunity to do a single spin, once I perfected it, I'd push myself to do a double. Figure out why I was getting it wrong or why it worked and then push myself to do a triple. And so after three, I figured out what my body was doing and that was about it. Did you rehearse every day? I listened to salsa when I was out. Right. I never listened to it at home. I always had carpeted floors, so I couldn't practice at home. Um, all of my dancing, literally, just it evolved in the clubs. Oh, that's yeah. very cool. So. Very cool. And what's your dance background? None. No dance background. Which I think is great because <laughs> everyone we've interviewed so far has like an extensive dance training, and you know, I I don't want people to think that they have to have this huge dance background to come to salsa because salsa is so anyone can do it. It's very liberal. Salsa. It is. Th that's one of the beauties of salsa, unlike, say, ballroom dancing, right. where certain certain dances need your head to be tilted at 43 <laughs> degrees, you know, and right. make sure you step precisely at this particular space or whatever. Right. Salsa allows you to bring every dance form into it. Um, and because of that, you, you could really start at any age. You know, no one's expecting anything of you ex except to have fun.